morning I spent uh, last night with my uncle and aunt, different uncle and aunt, Terry and Karen. Karen, my aunt, how do you open this door? <sighs> Alright, that's the way it's gonna be. That's the way it's gonna be. Thank you. Let's go. Sometimes you just gotta conquer the child lock by climbing over the seats. Uh, there we go, perfect. So I stayed with my uncle and my aunt. My aunt is like the biggest fan of my YouTube channel. Uh, they try to play cool when I come over, but I know they both watch and it's really cool. And they actually support me on Patreon, which is they're my family. It's weird, it's weird. I'm not gonna say no though. We gotta travel somehow, right? I'm going for breakfast. And you could order it ahead of time and just pick it up. Well, yeah, but it's not. It's not him? DJ, come back. No, you gotta work. Being able to catch up with my family. Um, Today I'm doing some stuff, uh, there's a lot of stuff I don't cover in the vlog, stuff I do every day. Um, like, you know, uh, a lot of research, a lot of calling family, a lot of, uh, like, little things, buying parts off Kijiji, selling stuff off Kijiji. Today I'm going to go to a mechanic shop and get them to replace the O2 sensor finally, which should fix my overheating issue that I was having. I'm not really having any more because it's so cold out and I gotta get propane and gas and all that stuff. I'm just not covering it in the videos anymore, but yeah. There's a lot of other stuff that happens in the day. I, I figured you guys kind of know that, but just thought I'd cover that. To the garage here, they're gonna take a look at my stuff. Can we take a moment and talk about this break room? They have a grandfather clock in like the, the waiting room of this uh, mechanic shop. Uh, TV, Sopranos on VHS. I mean, can you ask for more? I might just sit here and edit the next episode. <laughs> it's a pretty cool break room, but I just noticed, uh, you seem to have a butt plug on the coffee table. I think I'm no one to judge, but, uh, it's a bit weird. What a day, what a day, what a day. I was supposed to leave Toronto today. That didn't happen. So I did a bunch of shoots today, and did a bunch of work online, editing, Making these vlogs, I'm posting them now like every day. I've been doing that for a little bit now. I've got a little bit to catch up on. Today, just, man, today might have been a good day to not make a vlog. But, you know, I'm trying, I'm really trying to make something every day. So, I'm just pushing myself. So, I think today we'll talk about um, some more meta van stuff, okay? But, you know, that got me thinking, like, what do you guys actually want to know? Um... Maybe I'll just answer some of the questions that I always get in this video and then you guys can like send me some messages when this video posts and I can make another video about more of the direct questions. Um, because I want to start doing that. I want to start doing different kinds of videos. Like I figure I'll probably do vlogs like five days a week and then I'll do like an information video one day. So like how to camp for free or how to find good stealth camping spots or how to... Um, budget for this stuff or anyway all kinds of stuff like that and then um, on the uh, last day of the week the seventh day I will make something new a different kind of video um, I'm toying around with the idea of doing motor vlogging I want to do um, like some recipe videos talking about food like making recipe videos um, there's gonna be lots of DIY videos like breakdowns on how I've like done one particular modification uh, yeah, just stuff like that. So that's what I'm thinking. Seven days a week, those things. But for now, give me your questions. I'm going to answer some that I get all the time. Hey, Simon, where do you camp? Well, actually, I'm going to make a video on that soon about how to find cool free camp sp spots. I go way out of my way to go to some of those. Um, but the rest of the time, honestly, like, what the legality or illegality of it, that makes no difference at all. Because I've been kicked out of places where I'm totally legal to camp. And I've been told I can stay in places by police in places that it's totally illegal for me to stay. So um, all I do is I will make food one place and do all my stuff, house stuff, and then I'll move and then I'll sleep somewhere else. And then that, like, if I do that, no matter where the hell I camp, I never, ever, ever have issues 
um, being told to leave. Honestly, the only times I've been told to leave is when I stay around rich white people. Sorry, rich white people. Hey Simon, what do you do for money? Actually, this lifestyle is pretty cheap. Um, I think you could travel indefinitely in a camper van through North America for about twenty-two to $2,500 Canadian a month, which works out to be, you know, uh, $25,000 a year or $27,000 a year, something like that. Anyway, it's like roughly what a McDonald's manager is making these days, and that's full-time travel, so that's not, that's not that bad. Um, now I don't travel full time, I'm still working and uh, the videos kind of show that when they stop popping up. Right now YouTube is making not much. Anyway, between my Patreon, my merch, my I'm trying to rope up some sponsorship deals and then ad revenue off the videos, I'm making like a quarter of that probably or less. I don't know. I'm getting there though. I'm getting close to it. Like I figure maybe by the end of next spring I'll have enough ad revenue and, and Patreon and all these other things coming in and like a little bit of work online that I can just travel indefinitely and I don't have to stop again. So that would be cool. Hey Simon, what's the best thing about van dwelling? It's all the space you get. Hey Simon, what's the worst part of van dwelling? It's uh, being in a tiny little space where I break things all the time. And it sucks because your car is your house and your house is your car. And so when one of them breaks, the other one's broken. When the other one breaks, the other one, it's just, they're all together. It's just like a problem-solving nightmare. But um, I think of it the same way as I think of my toolbox, where a lot of tools can fix multiple things. My van is like just this medley of things, and then I can always somehow make everything work because of the things that it's set up to do. And yeah, so when stuff's broken, and there's always something broken, um, I can usually make do until I fix it, and then I break something else. Simon, where do you get your showers? Well, actually, uh, I go to YMCA's. I go to, sometimes, I've, I've used a truck stop twice now. Um, but actually, if you go to YMCA's and you ask them, hey, uh, can I try your YMCA because I just moved to the neighborhood? They'll let you try out the YMCA, like a one-day pass, for free. And you have to just sign those same waivers that you'd have to sign if you had a membership. So I had a membership all last year, and then... I was filling out the exact same paperwork as if I didn't have a membership at all, and I was only ever going to these Y's like once anyways. So I was like, uh, okay, yeah, I'm not going to pay for a membership. Screw that. Cut that off the budget. Aside from that, I actually, I'm probably going to start using couchsurfing.com. I use it a lot during my motorcycle trip, and um, even though I have my house with me, it's so nice to meet a local who's like passionate about their town and their area that they're at. So like being able to... Um, to see the world through their eyes, that was the best part of, uh, of couch surfing. It was, it was meeting these locals and, and like, they just want to hear all your travel stories and they want to tell you how awesome their area is and show you all this cool stuff and help you reach your goals. And man, that is so cool. It's such a cute, cool community. So I think I'm going to do that and that's probably going to help me get some more showers along the road too. So I'm going to do that. Hey Simon, what's the best van for me? Um... You've heard this one probably a million times, but every van is cool and it has its ups and downs. Um, the only thing I'll add to that, to what you've heard other van dwellers and people say a million times, is that um, don't blow your budget. Don't go crazy. Uh, a van, van dwelling is more expensive than you think it's going to be, probably, and there's going to be some like issues and problems, and it would be nice for you to have extra money to handle those. And honestly, it's a tool for travel. So, like, as long as you have a bed, and you can stay comfortable, and even then, like, you just travel with the temperature, right? If you don't have it insulated, you don't have a furnace, just travel with the temperature, and, um, and you'll be fine. But it's just a tool, so, uh, remember that. Um, like my van, for instance, which I call, I joke, is the vanshin sometimes, way too big for me now. It's just me on my own. This thing is, like, a luxury yacht compared to some of the other vans that, and vans I would be totally comfortable in, so... I'm not like not complaining about it. I'm very grateful that I have a nice van, but at the same time, like I could totally do with a much smaller van. Hey Simon, why did you start doing van dwelling? Well, um, I discovered two photographers um, and they put out these photo books. One was Maddie on things and the other one was uh, Finding Momo. And both of them are like guys dropped everything picked up their dogs, got into a van or a camper of some kind, and traveled North America. And they did it on, like, no budget at all. 
They made amazing photography. It boosted their career like crazy. And I thought, hey man, like I'm a photographer. I'm trying to do something cool. Like, how am I gonna make that happen? This makes sense. Hey Simon, can I buy your van? Yeah, you can actually. Um, probably July 2017. I'm probably gonna sell it then. And um, depending on how things go, I might end up in Southeast Asia. I might be in Europe, in Eastern Europe. I have no idea yet. But uh, eventually I will be getting a sailboat. So that's in my future. First I have to learn how to sail. And how to call it a ship and all the little weird words that they use. Hey Simon, is it tough traveling with a dog? Um, yeah, I mean like it's a commitment. Just as it would be a commitment in a house. Uh, it's a little bit easier. I mean he gets like way more walks and exercise because he's in the van and we're always like going on hikes and stuff. But, uh, you know, I wouldn't say it's that hard. Poses some challenges. I'm, I'm gonna be real about it. But, like, he's the coolest housemate ever, so... I mean, it's no question. I'm trying to think if there's any other questions I get asked all the time. I think that's it for now. You guys now have to give me more questions, and I'll answer them in another video, which will probably be like... Oh... Depending on my editing... It'll probably be two weeks from now, or less than that, less than two weeks from now. Ten days? I'm going to say ten days. And then I'll answer it in a nice big video. So, leave loads of comments, loads of questions, um, and I'll answer them as uh, expediently as possible. Alright, I'm going to make dinner now, and, uh, and then Champ and I are going to wander around this uh, suburban wasteland and check stuff out. Nice little sauce going on here. Sausage. And you got yourself your little uh, feta tortellini. Oh yeah. Yeah, you'd like a king tonight. This is way too much food. Champ, would you like some? Come on, buddy. Come on. Fish sauce, incense.